I'm on the hunt in Akihabara today. Going hunting for Gundam models. And maybe some ranger keys. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I'm gonna go. They don't let me have cameras in here. So goodbye for now. So the first floor is kind of a bust. But I'm here at one of my regular stores because they have like cheap discounted models for some reason. I don't know if they're just overstocked or what, but so I'm here looking at those. I have to buy them and build them so they're easier to bring back. So if I leave them in the box, I can't bring them back. Well, I could, but more luggage space. It is a beautiful day in Akihabara. I'm heading to my next door. I haven't bought anything yet. I'm just kind of waiting to see prices and checking out prices of things. Because pretty much this, I think, is going to be my last big buy of anything. Especially since I'm hunting for models. Because I'll have to build them all before I can go. Like I was saying earlier. And I'll take them apart and make them really small. And fit in my carry-on. I was thinking about it today while I was looking, and one of the reasons why I'm getting so many Gundam models here is because they're literally half the price, if not a third of the price, of anywhere I can get them back home. And they have, obviously, a really good selection. But I've been thinking, I've been building models, Gundam models specifically. It's been a hobby of mine for probably like 14 or 15 years. In fact, I remember one of my favorite childhood memories, because this is when I got into the hobby, it was with me and my grandpa. Because he probably won't remember this, but I remember it. And it meant a lot to me. It was when I was a kid, I was probably, I don't know, 10 or 11. But at Schinders, they had a Master Grade Gundam model, the original Gundam. And I remember saving for it for a long time. It was like, they had it on sale and it was like $35, $40, somewhere around there. I forget how much the actual price was. But I remember my parents were gone. They were went on a trip or something like that. So my grandparents had come and, hopefully I'm not blinding you, my grandparents had come and were watching me at the time. And I remember I had finally just saved up enough that I asked my grandpa to take me to Schinders where I ended up getting my first master grade model. And it's kind of all been history from there. But I still have that model. It's on the top of my display case. And whenever I look at it, I remember that time of my grandpa taking me to Schinders and how excited I was. And your little kid, forty dollars is a lot of money. So it's pretty good. So I'm keeping the hobby going. And it's very nice to do here because it's so cheap. But I did get into an accident the other day, so I won't be able to build any for a couple days. I... Oh dang, it's bleeding through the band-aid. Uh, the other day, I cut myself. Just a little nick. And then I put a band-aid on, and about an hour later, I managed to shove the whole blade into my thumb and cut the band-aid in half. So... I have to watch it now, so it doesn't get infected. It hurts like hell, and it's really my fault, because as somebody that's a cook and a model builder, like, number one rule is you don't use dull knives, because that's how you get hurt. That's pretty much what I was doing. I didn't swap out the blade, and it was dull, and it wasn't cutting through things properly, so I put a little force in, and when the force went through, it went straight into my thumb. So I have a pretty good cut, but a third of, it went in probably like a third of an inch to my thumb, so pretty deep. Otherwise, I think I'm almost to the model floor. Woo! I would say Yellow Submarine is my favorite model store. They have the display models, but well, sometimes they have uh, employees standing right here building models and teaching how to build models, which I think is pretty cool if you are interested but don't know where to start. But uh, 
the prices are a little more expensive. I go to another store a lot of time. I save a few bucks on each model, but uh, there are two aisles. They have everything pretty, pretty well organized. If anyone actually cares about Gundam models as much as I do in the in the blog. I just want to show you Yellow Submarine because this one's my favorite. And then when I watch back, I can be all like, yeah, I love that store. I've never been in a train like this. I think it's going to get me to where I need to go. I ended up, I bought a big bag of stuff. Good thing I'm a packing wizard. I just need to find a suitcase. Well, it was pretty successful. I'm going to go look for a suitcase when I get back to Kameari Station. So we'll see what happens. Otherwise, this train is kind of cool.